and that came out, was founded to, re, you know, completely reverse the land reform program or at least stop it. That was the purpose. They couldn't do it, and that is why the MDC is collapsing. It is not by mistake that the MDC is splitting. It is collapsing day in day out. It is split in two thousand and four five or 2004 then, when Welsh Manure formed his own foundation or split away from Morgan Changri right then. Mm. And if you know the allegations that were peddled, it was that Welsh Manure was given a lot of money by Zanukir mm. to break away from Morgan Changri. Right. Fast forward, after they were all brutalized in 2013 elections, where they were beaten, uh, you know, election-wise, resoundingly by Zanukir, what do they do? They form an alliance. Welsh Manure comes back to the MDC, that was led by Morgan Chankra, and no one bothered to tell us whether Welsh Manure then had ceased to become a member of ZANPF or whether he had exhausted the huge sums of money that some of you wrote about having come from ZANPF for government. Hmm? Job Scala did the same thing. He went away and formed the MDC 99 in 2007, didn't he? And what did you say? He's a project of ZANPF who has been given lots of money from the party, and that is an agent of ZANPF. Fast forward now, Job Scala is on the forefront of uh, the other factions of the MDC. And what are you people saying? You have not bothered to write about that, you have not bothered to talk about it, but it is a fact that he has come back to the other MDC and nobody is talking about the money that you allege he was given from the party. So all that seems to, to say we have no reason whatsoever to mind ourselves with what is happening in the MDC. We don't care. I tell you, I personally have never bothered to read the judgment altogether. It doesn't concern me. What concerns me is the people's man fame of the MTC after Morgan Chagrin's death. Who doesn't know? Who doesn't know that there was a violent takeover at the at number 44 Nelson Mandela, which started manifesting itself before Morgan Chagrin himself had been buried. And it was even exported to Buera at his funeral at his homestead. Who doesn't know what happened to Togozan Kup and Douglas Monsoon and others there when they were almost assoned? in one of Morgan Chagrin's hearts by elements purportedly supporting Nelson Chavis. Didn't you hear about those? Yeah, okay. Uh... He's clarified quite very clearly about that. He has clarified that issue altogether. Our duty as NPF is not to provide consultants for the MDC or for any political party whatsoever. We don't provide consultants for them. It is not the duty of NPF to unite one in puppets. If puppets are dividing themselves where do we come in? When they divided in 2004, when Welshman Nui went away with his other part of the MDC, didn't they accuse Zanpia? But now that they are together with Welshman Nui as the vice president, did they bother to tell the nation what had happened to the monies that Welshman Nui is allegedly received from Zanpia? So all that I'm telling you is that we have a lot on our table. And mind you, is that Zanpia we will retain its ruling status come 2023, come 2028, come 2033, come 2038, whatever. And the, and, and, and the list goes on. Zanpia is the part of yesterday, today, and into the future. It is the part of tomorrow. That is what I know about. And that President Emerson Mangago is going to win 2023 elections emphatically. That I can tell you. On whether Toko Zankupe or Nelson Chamisa or 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 or, 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 or any other person, I don't know. That is not our business. For and it will not be beaten. <laughs> Why? Because it is not by mistake. This particle design peer has a symbiotic relationship with the people of Zimbabwe that dates back long ago. You understand how this part was formed? It is on the shoulders of the people, and on its back it carries the masses of the people of Zimbabwe. And that is why we are the only mass political party that you can talk about in Zimbabwe. The only party that is found from Zampes to Limpopo, Nyamapanda to Plum Tree, it is Zanpia. Even beyond the borders, it is Zanpia. So it is out of that basis that, uh, you know, you can never, you, you know, think about Zanpia getting out of power one day or losing elections. No, it's completely unthinkable. It does not necessarily have people at heart. It is the people's part. Okay? You follow? The part is a people's part. And uh, therefore, it is at the hearts of the people. And there is nothing that ZANPF carries as a way of functions or as a way of implementing its vision without consulting the people 
And there is nothing that we are doing which does not come from our people. That is why we go for people's conferences annually, and in December we have one. And that is why we go for congresses. And when it is due, we are going to have one. On top of that, this is why our government is a government of the people, by the people, for the people. Why do I say that? It's because a mass party does not operate like a, a, a runaway organization. No, we don't do that. Even its leadership does not operate like a runaway organization. No, our leadership doesn't do that. We take instructions from our people at the right platforms. The conferences that you have talked about, the rallies that you have talked about, the consultative processes of the central committees and the political groups and the national co uh, consultative assembly, the youth league, the women's league, the war veterans, the youth, everyone is represented in the part in order to come up with what we do. So in terms of what we have done, there is no any other political party the fruits of enjoying that independence full and that is by ensuring that they take ownership and charge of their economic dispensation. And this is why as a party we believe in empowerment of the African child, the African person, and we believe most importantly in the African business person. We are proud of the young patriotic African business entrepreneurship that we have in this country. It is a product of Zambia. The infrastructure that we are seeing today with a lot of activities that is happening on our roads, especially after the new dispensation, it is a clear testimony that our government and our party mean business. On top of that, we are probably one of the few political parties that has an inherent, inherent respect of that is completely fallacious. We know that this country has been bastardized in terms of its image by people who are paid to do that. This is not the first time we are seeing that. Even in the old dispensation, it was happening. Who doesn't know that Robert Mugabe was presented to the world after he fell out with the British during the land reform as a dictator that has never been seen under the sun? Hmm? Did, don't you know that? And this is what people are attempting to do on President Emerson Nanga. Never mind the political, ongo the ongoing political and economic reforms that he's doing. People continue to bastardize his image, and they are paid to do so, and they are working with the countries, with the countries of hostile forces to do that. We have so much of them in the MDCs, particularly the MDC that was led mm -hmm. by its former leader Nelson Jamisa, now Secretary for Policy and Research. We are told it is paid. If you want evidence, we can give you that evidence. It is there. They are paid by donor agencies linked to the United States of America. They are paid by donor agencies linked to the United, I mean, to the British, to the EU, to do what they are doing in order to, put, to present this country as a case to the world. There are some people who come here and they get shocked to say, ah, is this what, how this country looks like? Given what they've been told on Twitter, on various social media platforms. Don't you see that? And as we are having this interview, haven't you heard about the abductivists, self-abductivists, cashivists, fortune seekers that go into hiding after engaging some recent and they come and say they've been abducted. They announce that they've been abducted themselves. They announce that they found themselves. They abducted themselves. They disappear. They find themselves. They present themselves to the world as they having been found. Oh, no. It cannot happen. You have characters like Hopo Jumon. You follow him. How much is he saying about the, our government and our country? His strategy on COVID-19. How many times did you hear him saying that people are dying in Zimbabwe like hens? out of COVID-19. Didn't he say that? But today, aren't you aware that Zimbabwe has lost only so far four people out of COVID-19 of the 37 cases that we have on top of COVID recoveries? Hmm? But didn't that play out on BBC? Didn't that play out on Reuters? Didn't that play out on Al Jazeera? Didn't you see those videos playing out? That government of Zimbabwe is hiding people that are dying out of COVID. But do you believe that? It is them who announced to the world that they had found themselves. Hmm? And then the MDC had to make the world believe that they have been battered and brutalized and beaten so badly with serious injuries. Didn't you see that? Now the pictures are coming out. Are they badly injured? Are they beaten? Did you see any scar or any form of injury except that they were just looking dead like kids coming from playing pada? Hmm? Isn't that... You know, no, assume, we know that there is factional fighting in the, in the MDC, but... 
they have come up with a, a, a tired script of diversionary tactics. They are trying to replay Emma Gombe. You know about that stupid doctor who went hiding elsewhere, announced that gave the world that he had been abducted, found himself somewhere in Nyabira, boarded a committee of members and came back and announced to the world that he had found himself. No scar, no what, with his phones. He was doing all that with his gadgets. Oh, come on. This, this Tom Fuller must just stop. And that is why we have refused to be called into submission and we stand our ground as a part and we are proud. We have exposed these fools for who they are. We have exposed this propaganda for what it is. We have exposed these liars for who they are. And we have not only done that, but we have traced them to where they are pampered to engage in these theatrics.